We're going for afternoon tea today. Sergio. Also, look at this. Full nail varnish. Came off one finger in one go. The whole thing. And I don't know why it won't focus. But you can see, there's no nail varnish on this finger. That's so impressive. I don't even know when that happened. Anyways, yes, so we are going for afternoon tea in the Marion. Sergio. So, it's a vegan afternoon tea. One, I've never been to afternoon tea, so this is exciting. And two, it's vegan, so that's super exciting. Um, but weird thing is, right, so it's myself, Kirsty, and Eve going. So Eve has an allergy to hazelnuts. And they literally rang us yesterday, so the day before the booking, saying, asking questions about the allergy. And they were like, oh, you know, we handle nuts in the kitchen, you know, we can't guarantee everything is not free, blah, 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 which is fair enough. And that's t like, that needs to be said because allergies are so serious. But, um, they were like, oh, w we need to know more details. Can you get Eve to give us a call? Sorry, this is on the phone to Kirsty. So Eve was like, yeah, grand. Because Kirsty was like, no, she can, it's okay if the kitchen handles nuts. It's just, she can't actually eat hazelnuts. Just don't have hazelnuts in this sweet or the savory stuff that they're gonna give us. So then Eve rang and explained it to them. They're like, yeah, no, we can't give you afternoon tea. Like, what? Like, they're, they're like, oh, but like, our, some of our desserts might have hazelnut in it. But like, how do you not know what's on the menu? And how do you know, not know what's in each product? So, like, that, that was just really fucking weird. And why did they leave it to the day before? So that was really, really shit. Um, especially, like, if, if the person is saying, no, I just can't eat the hazelnuts, then it should be fine. Like, just don't serve me something with hazelnuts in it. And it's the Marion, like it's fucking top class shit. So that was a bit shit. But then they're like, oh, but you can still order sweet and savory stuff off the menu. Which makes no sense because it's still gonna be cooked in the same place, in the same kitchen, like, so it doesn't make sense. So that was a bit, that's a bit weird, a bit shite, a bit unprofessional. So I'm not, that's, that's down two marks from me. So anyways, we're going anyways. And I think like, if there's stuff, that me and Kirsty get that Eve can eat. Cause like you can tell if something has hazelnuts in it. Maybe not like the chocolate products or like chocolate desserts. And um, especially if they're vegan because they would use a lot of hazelnuts, but like the savory stuff, like she could probably eat that. Do you know what I mean? She'll know straight away by looking at it anyways. Yes, so we are going there for 1 p.m. And the girls got it for me because I finished my masters. I have the best friends ever. So yeah, I'm excited. Never been to afternoon tea. So let's go.
Okay, hello, we are home now, so I'm just gonna do a little review. So the Marion is in town, but once you actually go in there, it doesn't feel like you're in town, so it's kind of like, I don't know, I got very down to country type vibes. Um, and then, yeah, like the staff are really nice, really welcoming, um, like it is proper fancy, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, we stayed there for like three hours, and it's, it was super cozy. Yeah, it was nice and quiet, which was really nice because I hate when I go out to a place and I have to shout when I'm having a conversation. I lose my voice so, so, so easy. So yeah, that's a big deal. Um, the only thing is like, it was really cozy when we got in there, but like by the time we got to four o'clock, so we went in for one, by the time we got to four o'clock, we were like boiling. We were like, need to get out of here. So, in terms of the food, so remember I was saying that they were like to Eve, no, 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 you can't have the vegan afternoon tea because we handle hazelnuts or there could be hazelnuts in some of the food. So we were kind of like, we were a bit skeptical of that. We were kind of like, but if they're, you're handling nuts in the kitchen and okay serving other food in the kitchen just not the afternoon tea it just it wasn't adding up anyways so we got there and we me and Kirsty were getting the vegan afternoon tea and then we were like can Eve not just have the scones and the sandwiches like there's not going to be hazelnuts in them and then they went in and asked and they were like oh yeah that's fine so we were like okay so then our me and Kirsty thing came out in the little tray thing and um so it's one there was no hazelnuts in any of them so Eve definitely could have had the tray so there was two courses that was the first course I had like sam sandwiches little kind of sponge cake thingies and then scones so she 100% could have had all of that um but look whatever she got like the sandwiches and the scones in the end, but because they hadn't prepared it, she had to wait like, I'd say about 30 minutes to get hers. But you could tell that ours had been prepared a good while ago because the bread was super hard. Like it was, it was obviously like a pan loaf, do you know what I mean? So it wasn't like any fancy bread or anything like that. But like, yeah, it was just, it had been left outside for too long. So that was, yeah, it, it wasn't great. And some of the, some of the sandwiches were like, it was like paprika and cucumber, but it was just average. But then they had some like egg mayo, egg mayo ones, which were unreal. And then they had like a tofu one, which was like, tasted very similar to chicken. Um, and then their like lemon sponge cake was unreal. Their scones were unreal, but they were kind of like muffins. So yeah, they're like, they're scony muffins. So, but they had jam, they had like a vegan cream and they had lemon curd. So it was, it was, it didn't blow my mind. And the same with like Kirsty, same with Eve, but the dishes that were really nice, they did really, really well. Um, so that, we finished that course and then we, me and Kirsty got the second course, which is like a little trio of desserts. And then Eve just ordered a vegan dessert off the menu. Um, so the trio of desserts, they were definitely, I don't wanna say better quality, but they, they did, they tasted really, they tasted really nice. One of them was like a little tart, uh, with like fruit and cream and then another was cheesecake and then another one was like some chocolate one which I didn't like but I think it was it was coconut or it was made with coconut oil or something so I just I didn't particularly like the taste of it again I don't think maybe the chocolate one could have had hazelnuts in it they might have used like a hazelnut paste but the other two 110% did not have hazelnut paste in it so I don't really know why they just couldn't have served Eve the whole afternoon tea or the ve like the whole vegan afternoon tea it just i don't know it was just very strange because she pretty much had the exact same thing as us anyways so
so the you're allowed to have unlimited teas and coffees so it wasn't just like normal tea and normal coffee like you they had loads of different types of teas and you could have so what we got was we got three iced coconut lattes as in like one each and that was really nice and then we got an iced tea and um, i think it was like a ginger and lemon is that like the i think it was a normal flavor of iced tea so we all got one of them actually Kirsty got two of them and they were they were also unreal um so yeah it was good that you could get like unlimited teas and coffees um and like we were so full like we were full after the first the first course now the price was 55 euro per person but then because eve's eve wasn't like the full afternoon tea so hers was like a plate of sandwiches a plate of scones you know what i mean so everything all hers was like individual prices but um yeah it, it was i wouldn't go back for afternoon tea but um as like a first experience and stuff like that it was good and it was nice that we could just sit there for like hours i don't know if i would recommend it. i'd like to try other places in town just to see and kind of compare but i don't know like what would i give it out of 10 maybe like 6.5 is that bad like for the marion like they sh oh, i don't know like it, it was good but like yeah you have to remember you're paying 55 euro a head so you want all the dishes to be and like some of the cakes were very dry like you take a bite and it would just crumble so but then like their lemon kind of little cake thingy the sponge thing was really nice it, it was moist but uh yeah but then like i think lemon cake does tend to not be dry so definitely room for improvement but it was good and the girls got it for me because i finished my masters uh, maybe i give it a 7 out of 10 because they were accommodating but i just feel like the whole it just seemed a little bit messy but still it was it was a really nice day out and it was super relaxing so yes i think i want to leave it there um oh <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe etc etc and I shall see you all very soon